Kafiri Subbasin is a major subcatchment of the Barotse Subbasin. It constitutes almost 20% of the total of Zambia's land and drains most of its waters into the Zambezi River. This subbasin has great potential for mining, industrial, and agricultural activities. Change in weather patterns resulting from climate change poses a huge threat to the success of these activities taking place. To overcome these threats and effects in the Kofiwe Subbasin, in 2016, the Pilot Program for Climate Resilience, PPCR for short, launched projects that strengthen climate resilience with the aim of strengthening the adaptive capacity of rural communities to better respond to the current climate variability and as well as the long-term consequences being faced. These projects have been implemented in Mumbo District and Southern Province and focus on strengthening the capacity of the rural communities through the demonstrated approaches of integrating climate risks into the local development planning process with a view of ensuring that extreme weather events and long-term consequences of climate change are integrated into the development initiatives. Sichanzu Ward in Mumbo District is one area which received these project implementations. The projects include piggery, poultry, goats and solar-powered boreholes. All these projects have been allocated to the communities in order to help sustain their livelihoods although they have not completely kicked off because there isn't any livestock yet. Felix Ndopu, Mumba District Commissioner, gave us an insight on the projects in the area. We had a bit of challenge in terms of uh, change in climate. And uh, uh, our most uh, forest land uh, is being uh, cut down and uh, uh, being uh, used as uh, uh, charcoal. And also we have seen the reduction in the rain patterns in the district uh, in the past uh, two years or so. These activities which reduces our forests and also the, the rainfall which are very useful to our uh, well-being as uh, people in terms of uh, uh, the way nature is uh, supposed to be. Uh, through the cooperating partner and government, uh, they looked at what we are experiencing. And to avoid, for example, the uh, issue of cutting down of trees, uh, people need to be empowered with other economic activities so that they do away with the activities of uh, cutting down trees, uh, which will lead to uh, deforestation and uh, also making the, our environment not to be uh, good for us to live in, uh, they came up with these uh, uh, activities which will make people uh, concentrate on the areas of uh, uh, agriculture. And uh, through these uh, um, uh, solar-powered boreholes which are being uh, provided, we are also encouraging the communities to have uh, nurseries for uh, softwood or trees that can be uh, grown in a short uh, period of time so that they can also replace the trees that were cut. So that will help to bring back the nature the way it used to be. Despite the projects being implemented by officials, community members are fully involved and aware of what's going on. We caught up with local community members from an Ntambo Women's Project in Shachiwanka village who are part of the poultry, solar-powered boreholes and gardening projects. This is what the project secretary, Nawa Amukena, had to say. For me, that particular program, my facilitators are new trades. For me, I'm not too many. I'm not going to be able to do this program. So, for me, I'm not going to be able to after the people were two hours, about two hours, we are going to invite my meetings. We are going to have my meetings, but she will explain what we know our program. I mean, for me, it is not about the program we are doing. No, we are going to have to apply knife. Now, what we are going to apply is to number two and cook. Then we are going to pass a boho. Then we are going to pass a boho. And here we will be passing ten thousand. Then, as a women group, for the natural garden. Maybe in Tambo Women's Club, we know about Papa Men in Amber Kudala. 
mama 2000 but kuri be family tones on apa ndiye family to ona obwino kuchokera kuri funding ya mate na pasi wa manje kwa mate to ona ko vinyumba va nkuku to ona ko na maboho and yolo tenzo chita apply e project ya kutukuzankala na manzi tenzo ko na doubt ya chifukwa manzi kuna nali ovuta kuna bwela wa mbili kupima manzi kuna wanali kukamba tukulibe manzi but pamene kuna bwela wa nutrients eh bit kama climate change pamene wana bwela after bachi avonse taoneka tuzoona ni climate change vintu va chinja manzi aoneka ndi amene tili ku mwana manzi tinamba na gardening to shanga mwana milis then to shanga mwana tomato hiyo ni achievement number 1 amene twa pesa ku fuko tambaona ubwino fuko kambiri kuno kumbuyo all of us mai siwezo pesa kuti bakazi kapeseka pantu pangati pamozi but pamene wana bwela manzi bazimai ambo pesa ka pamozi mlandu wa garden bakumana kuona garden kuti basebenzere pantu pangati pamozi kambiri nchito zenze ko zenza malasha mamwene mabwelera kuno muza pesa kuti bantu bonse ndi bopelanga ba upalanga bali mushatini but pamene ya bwela project bazimai ambo pesa kuza pesa kuti kuseni bali mu garden Muchungulo bali mu garden watirira then banati pasako na chinyumba ichi cha nkuku chinyumba cha nkuku pa 1000 tilikoembekeza chinyumba ndi chija cha sila olwa sache pangono but ndalama tilibe tilikoembekeza kuti bati pasa ndalama but ka tipasa ndalama tiona kuti vintu viza chinja ko umoyo uzacho kwa mwene wenze lili uzankala ko penango kulingana na program ya mene mwana tipasa ko e nari yangu ni Mekethrin mwene ndizulirwa mu village ya Shaji Wanka imebo ndiri mu group ya ntambo women ninda ka join mu group ya ya club ya mtambo twakata rika tubunga twesu kama mbatego watu ni wala fertilizer so no mburu ya waje jino jindi twabona kwamba tego ati ukala tubunga chintu chiri kabo tumaningi twajata menda alubuwa ngitwa tali bwene imebonda yala bana 6 oguno kusena menda ali kutukataya menda twali kuzwa kuzafu kutwali kuteka menda twali kunga mamba tegwa na wabuka 03 kuya ukuyimikira mu line kwamba tegwa muteke menda amwe mulale tabo igumbuli hotatu nishi mwakatala ne moya mamba tegwa mutule igumbuli yanu ya menda kuti munke muye kuchipiri muka kujane mari kwamba tegwa mubore mwishe bana wali buyumi buyumu no bantu baliza kuno kubusena kutwali kedde akamboka menda so no awa menda ngaya asika twaba ajinganda chitwaba nchi jo mu club yesu ya ntambo so tulangira mambo tegwati batupe ko mali kwamba tegwati ule nkuku tubike tutaye kuni kuhuba i think bana besu balata ya kuni kunka ko hikolo awa ali mwa garden njitwaba nji yo Pona mamba tegoti na iyi garden tujati jane muri mbutu atalika tubana mayo kujula bwizu kutere yakuya kachi garden Yesu kwamba tichisike kuja mana awa tutokuyuma mihanya mamba tegoti twamani achi garden Yesu ambwene bana balata yakuni kuri ama veji tulatereka kuni kusambala mamba tegoti watu nikujana mali kambo kwali kuluwana ka party mumanda mamba tegoti olokoi nibona yazimina phaka uyibuhe kuti na yenda kuti akambuka kubula mutwali kujana mali so mburi mutwa jana kuni kuli matoba na mayo garden i think tulakala ka botu ibana besu balata ya kuni kunka ku hikolo my name is sandy katia i'm district facilitator with the new trade trust new trade trust is a craft contracted by sikrika to facilitate the identification of climate related problems with the community we started working in Mumba district in 2016. From there, we've been identifying uh, climate-related uh, problems with the community and how possibly the community could uh, suggest possible solutions to solve those problems. And our role really was to, to help the community identify which really were the critical problems which they could do, whose mitigation they could put across. So we have so far in Mumba district uh, <coughs> successfully implemented these 43 projects of which Ntambo Women's Club, where we are now, is one of them. During our implementation of this problem, I mean this program, 
uh, not everything was rosy. We've had our own challenges in terms of movement. Some places other than this one where we are, the roads are impassable, such that uh, when it rains, you cannot pass there. But uh, thankful enough to the project, the response has been uh, good, such that uh, we are seeing the physical results that we are, that, uh, that is behind me, like this, this boho and the, the poultry house. So now that uh, these things are in place, we are just waiting from the community to implement the soft project part of it, which means actualizing the utilization of water as well as the land around here, in terms of growing crops as well as rearing, rearing chickens for sale to, to, to empower themselves in terms of income. Umebo, ndime last one Mangala, ndime chairman wa Mvaika House Goat Project. Nekubakuti project yesu, tainaba funded Ampongo, gulibu hoja anda ja Ampongo, aboho, ya meenda. Ono, bubo tu mbotu nga tuwabandiga mungati ga boho, yesu, aja anda ja Ampongo, nekubakuti tatunape kwa Ampongo, tuwaku pe kwa Ampongo, jiagutu kwa ya mburi community, tuyaku taking a care ya Ampongo yesu, Tu yangu ibamba gabo tu, iku jita uti, katu jana mpindu, iku kwa haa imi kwa shieso. Amana mu poho yesu njotu jisi, jatu kwa haa kapati, nkambo kakuti, nkutoka likuteka meenda, pala huu. Makiro mitazi, mala huu, jakuti, bama jembele, tiba aliku jiko haa, iku ya kuteka meenda. So, jaku kwa haa maningi, ibantu, iku baku jana uti, tuwa jana meenda, aku nyu hango mbe yesu, iku nyu hampongo yesu, then iku nze kwa gunywa, tuya kujana, iku lima ima garden, mungati iga mabo esu. Tuwa mana kumaga ni a mpongo, yetu jisi, mbutuwa mbutuwa bandika kare kuti, inakutu kwa ya mzira inja anji, ima humba a mpongo, tunakubweza, iku tola ku garden, tuwa mana, mpongo esu, yona, tuwa isunga kabo tu, tunakusambala, iku gwasha imigwashi esu, mburi community, iku gwasha ibana kuhisha bana, mungati ka mpongo esu, so, jaba jintuji tu komani ya maningi kamboka kuti, tuwa baa jorwe, nchona nchituwa kati kuyaya kuti, na mbuba kaji leta ye jintu, jaba jintu, nchituwa langanya kuti, gumbele kwa mao mieso. Nga jaba jintuji tu kwa ya maningi kamboka kuti, jiyaku kwa ya imigwa shiesu, toonse mburi community. Hii nendine limueta limueta, palungamana project, as a project secretary. Project inayamba mu 20, 16. Vas krika wanata ndiza community ya lunga mana. Ndiyati wanata ndiza mwenjira ya yosu nga nkuku. Tunasa nga project ya nkuku chifukwa kuku ali onsi ya kasungi. Ndiyati wanatu pomeleza. So wanatu pasa ndrama zo kwa nila 157,000. Muli ndrama iyo Tunama anga nyumba, tunagula ikubeta, plus broda, mabatri zi, masolas, masola panel. Kuchoka hapo, tuamba kusebenzi. E, community nako ndula maningi. E, after kusebenzi, chamene machalenge za mene tunapeza, e, masolas saa sebenza na makumbi. Ngati kuli makumbi ni chichizima. Community nali kubwesa maetzi, E, ambili, koma pantawi ija katichizi ma, maizi ya wano ngeka. E, choka po, ngati kulizuba, chisebe za chibi bwino bwino. Matupasa adaption e, ya 30,000, ya, 30, ya kuti tugule futi nkuku, tupase ma beneficiaries. So, tunayenda mkugula nkuku, about 200. So, panupa project tulina 62 beneficiaries. Ndiya ti once ba beneficiaries ba natenga nkuku zili tu 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 tu. E, Zamene zinasala, e, tunakani za mu maganzo watu, wako miti ati, zibale, kulivena kwa mene ba nasalila, ya kutikati za bala, waja wa mene ba nasalila futi, tupapase. So, ndiye project ya mene tilinayo pano palungamana area. And, uh, this project was um, commenced uh, on 23rd August 2017, which is uh, from Kalomo to Namualo Punchun at Kapiri River. Uh, this project has divided to 
four links, uh, which is the link one from Kalomo to Dunuwiz Gate and the link two from Dunuwiz to Angoma and uh, link three from Goma to Itetech and the last one link four from Itetech to Kafui and uh, Namwala Puntum. This road was designed as a uh, OPRC project uh, which has uh, two years construction and uh, three years maintenance. The road has been benefited to the local communities, the employment of, for the workers uh, up to now was uh, 730 some numbers uh, and also female employees being employed. Uh, th this project uh, was designed under uh, as a climate resilience road, uh, which which shall make sure uh, the roads will be accessible uh, all through the year. This project was uh, going through the the Kafue Basin. Uh, there are a lot of sections was um, was submerged on uh, in the previous. Uh, Yes, so there are a lot of sections need to be raised up. Some certain sections will be raised up up to 2.5 to 3 meters to make sure uh, it won't be submerged on during the rain season. And also, this road will benefit to the to the farmers, uh, especially on Link Two, which is from Angoma to Dunuwe section. The biggest challenge for this project is uh, construction water and uh, and the gravel materials linked to in the park. Uh, the, the biggest the whole distance is up to uh, 35 kilometers hauling distance. Up to date, the physical um, progress for this project uh, was um, is 76 uh, percent of the construction period. And the, another challenge for this project was, um, was the financial challenges, especially the delayed payments, uh, which, which is affected the, the progress on site, especially from, from, from September uh, this year.